right, what's going on everybody? David here and welcome back to another Blu-ray Buyer's Guide. If you guys are new to this channel and don't know what a Blu-ray Buyer's Guide is, essentially sometimes a studio will release various versions of a certain title and then sometimes retailers will release exclusive versions of that same title. My job, my service to you guys is to pick up as many of those as I can and unbox it for you so that way whenever you walk into that store, you're ready to make an informed purchase. Today's Blu-ray Buyer's Guide is going to be for Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, now, I've already unboxed this one in a previous video, but we'll go ahead and just kind of run through it really quick to, to just so you get an idea, you know what I mean? So we have a, a complete look at all of them. Fantastic lenticular effect there. Um, and then here we have the, uh, the standard Blu-ray on this side, 4K, beautiful looking 4K uh, artwork on this side. And then the back here, if you guys don't know what it's about, and then it has the special features as well. There's some really good special features on here. I love the gag reel, you know, <laughs> as to be expected. Uh, Paul Rudd is a powerhouse, man. I, I love him so much. Uh, everything about him, he just he's just a goofy dude that kind of reminds me of myself <laughs> to a certain extent. Um, and that's probably why I like him so much. <laughs> but uh, fantastic release here. Looks great on 4K. Um, Marvel has, has done a really great job at, at, uh, at putting out their, their 4K releases and actually having them be really good, like look really nice. Um, it, it, th there's not really much, you know, darkness in this movie. There are certain, certain spots, but you know, in those moments, the black levels are, are perfect. Um, you can still see details. I think there was a, a, a part where they were in a forest, um, and you can see the trees, the outline of the trees and, and texture and things like that. Fantastic. Um, skin tones and uh, and skin textures are are perfect as well um and i that can be kind of weird a weird detail to kind of like you know look at but i kind of look at something like that with, with the 4k releases because that shows you know the crispness uh, of the picture and things like that um fantastic it's great uh i definitely recommend picking this up on 4k if you have a 4k tv and 4k play 4k player um well worth it fantastic uh all right let's go ahead and take a look at the next version here which is the blu-ray version this is a standard blu-ray version really nice embossing here on the slip cover like that a lot does have the multi-screen edition which we all know uh <laughs> we all really don't like it very much and then it does have this here at the bottom which sucks but that's fine um love the love the image you know it's the same image here as the lenticular uh you know cover here but except obviously they don't have masks on but I really do like all the embossing that's on there. Raised really nicely. Some of the details pop really, really nice as well. Logo here is embossed. And let's see. No, I, was, I thought maybe the Marvel Studios thing was embossed as well. And then there goes the spine there. And let's see, is it formatted the same? Actually, no, it's not. And there's even some different pictures here on the back as well, which is interesting. This is the Blu-ray on this side. Really nice. Take a look at the back there. Okay, really, really cool. Uh, bonus includes gag reel, alternate scenes, behind the scenes features, featurettes, and more. All right. Go ahead and pop this open. And I didn't, I didn't get the Walmart exclusive. <laughs> it does come with digital copy. Yeah, and the Walmart exclusive is just essentially it's the same thing. And I think we all kind of know by now this uh, this little Movies Anywhere thing is gone. And the multi-screen edition is gone. But it's only a Blu-ray. It doesn't come with digital code. So be on the lookout for that. Or be aware of that. Um, and one thing that I, I don't understand. Um, th this one was $30. Uh, $30 you know, FYI. Um, the one thing I don't understand is that Walmart exclusive is like $27. This one's 23 uh, that blows my mind that they do something like that. It's kind of crazy. Um, anyway, standard blue, Disney blue here. Uh, no discard or anything like that. No interior artwork either. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Ant-Man and the Wasp. This is uh, the standard Blu-ray uh, version. All right. Next up, we have... The Target exclusive for Ant-Man and the Wasp. This is a 4K version. Uh, actually, I think 
this they only have a 4K version, if if I remember correctly. Uh, and this one was 30, uh, 33 33 dollars. And actually, my my target um, had a pretty good amount of them there, which was a little shocking to me. Uh, that target that that's closer to my, my home, um, they're always really lazy, or they can be kind of lazy, and they don't put them out in time, or they'll only get like maybe two or three, you know, of, of a certain exclusive. Uh, this time there was like 10 there. So that was kind of shocking to me. Um, all right. So love the artwork here on the front. Fantastic. Again, it's very, it's reminiscent of this one as well. We just have a lot more imagery here at the bottom. And we do have Ant-Man and the little Ant-Man and the Wasp there. Ghost, Hank Pym, Janet Van Dyne. Right there all right and then here goes the back here you guys want to check out the back very much the same as the the standard 4k or the lenticular 4k all right let's take this off and take a look at what we got here all right here goes the back here which <laughs> said that's funny all right and then again target has been killing it you know with, with their exclusives comes with a little slip cover which is awesome love that now here goes the, the spine for this all right so here we have Evangeline Lilly there Lawrence Fishburne in the back all right ghost there in the inside and then Paul Rudd Ant-Man and let's take we've already seen the disc here but 4k disc Disney Blue, <laughs> and then we have Michael Douglas and Michelle Pfeiffer. They're in the inside. Fantastic! I love these portraits. These like promo portraits that that they do. Love them. They look really really cool. All right, and it does include digital copy, and it does come with this gallery book. Let's see here. Let's see what. Pull this out, okay. And it's a was a 40 page gallery book. Love that right there. Fantastic, fantastic picture. And then this is the back of it here. All right, we open it up. I like this a lot. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for these things. I really am. I, you know, I, I, I get a kick out of like, you know, behind the scenes uh, photos and, you know, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, like the artwork and things like that. The promo art artwork, concept art, all that stuff. I love it so much. So this is a big selling point for me. We won't go through the whole thing. But um, yeah, that, so that's a big selling point for me already. I'm trying to internally already try to make a decision of which, which one I prefer. But let's, let's continue on. Um, let's see here. And then here goes this, all of it here. And then all the inside there. Really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And like I said, this one was $30, $33 at Target. All right. And then, and last but not least, this, uh, they really didn't have too much, which is very uh, shocking to me. I, I was uh, hoping that there was going to be like a, like a gift set or, or something like that, but there wasn't. Um, everything was fairly standard. Um, which again is shocking to me for for a big marvel movie you know but um what can you do all right so last but not least we have the best buy exclusive steelbook here um now the steelbooks uh, as of late have been kind of not disappointing to me but i've preferred the target ones um for the most part so let's see how this one measures up all right so you have the back here, which is, again, just like the other uh, 4Ks. Uh, here, if everything's formatted pretty much the same, it looks like. All right, let's take this, off, this J card off. All right. Let's see here. Okay, all right. So, big selling point for me already as it is. This is a matte finish steelbook. And... I, I'm more on the matte finish side of things. I love a good glossy steelbook as well. Don't get me wrong. But uh, the matte finish doesn't leave fingerprints. And I'm kind of a 
I, mean, I guess you could say I'm a little OCD about it. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, fantastic artwork here on the front, showing basically uh, the shrinking of the wasp and then flying off, which is really cool. I like that effect. It's the same effect that you you get in the movie, which is uh, interesting that they did that for the for the artwork here. Really cool. And on the back here, we have Ant Man doing basically the same thing, shrinking. Really cool. I like that. Like, let's see. He goes really, really little all the way to the bottom. <laughs> and then let's see really, really little flying, up, flying away. Which is really cool. I like that. It's an interesting uh, interesting effect to, to have on there. There goes the spine there. All right, let's open this up. It does come with digital copy. Now, I'm curious with the, the interior artwork here. Let's see. Let's see if these are the same. Yep. 4Ks. 4K disc, and then, oh, all right, good job, Best Buy, we actually get a little bit of uh, disc art for the, for the standard uh, Blu-ray instead of the, the typical Disney Blue, I like that, really, really cool, oh, man, <laughs> again, I'm trying to internally already think, and then some really nice artwork. Uh, in the inside here. The interior artwork is really nice. I dig this. I dig this a lot. And then here goes the front, back, and spine. And, uh, for Ant-Man on the, and the Wasp, this is the 4K Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Um, this one was running, I believe it was $35, if I'm not mistaken. Um, man, okay. All right, I'm trying to trying to think now. All right, so there you have it. We have four different versions of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Which one are you guys going to be picking up? Let me know in the comments down below. Now for my personal preference. Okay. I really like this lenticular cover. It looks really, really nice. Um, maybe, you know, maybe Best Buy, or not Best Buy, but Target. To do uh, one of their exclusives with a lenticular cover like this. That would make it the ultimate version for me. I think so. That'd be cool. For a future release anyway. I really like this lenticular cover a lot. Um, Target has a really cool gallery book inside. And I like the, the, the Digipack format now. I didn't like it at first. I've got I've grown to, 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 to like it. It's grown on me a lot. Um, and, um, look, I like the artwork in the front, I like that little artwork in the back. I love the character portraits in the inside as well. And then the Best Buy Steelbook. Um, I didn't know if I was going to like this or not. I really, I, to be truthful, um, but I really do. I really, I really like it a lot. Uh, so that makes it really hard to, to choose. I think I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to have to go with the Steelbook this time around. I think Best Buy has won me over uh, this time around. I, I actually really, really like it a lot. And again, the matte finish is a big selling point for me. Really nice interior artwork, which is really, really cool. And yeah, man, I, I think it's, yeah, I think this is the this is the one for me anyway. Uh, <laughs> which one do you guys dig? Let me know in the comments. Uh, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Uh, before we go, we're going to go ahead and do a digital copy giveaway. Uh, we'll do uh, two digital copies of Ant-Man and the Wasp to give away. All you have to do is comment down below. Let me know if you had the, the, the Ant-Man suit and the ability to shrink, what would you do? Where would you go? Let me know. That's all you have to do in the comments down below. Um, I will pick uh, two winners for uh, these digital copies on Friday, 10 p.m. Central Time. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, follow me on on, um, on Instagram, Cinema Deviant. Uh, like I said, it's so that way it's just easier to, to message you uh, directly there. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you dug this video or found it informative in any way, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because I will be coming back with more videos as always. And with all that being said, we'll catch you next time.